Hi, this is Troy Moldy with TM Listings, and I'm here with Jeremy Peterson with Remax Results. And today we are doing our monthly outreach for the month of April 2018. And today I'm going to be walking you through navigating HUD Home Store. It's been a little while since we've done this, and we're just going to talk about uh, the basic uh, how to get to the bidding process. Um, I do get phone calls, and people ask me how they put in a bid. So let's go ahead and um, bring up HUDHomeStore.com. So this is the home screen, and I'm at H-U-D-H-O-M-E-S-T-O-R-E.com. I'm going to select a state that I want us to put a bid in. HUD Home Stores, their paperwork is universal, meaning that it's the same paperwork, as far as I know, across every state. So once you figure this out, if you do go to another state, uh, it's the exact same process. So let's go ahead and take a look at this property right here. It looks like it's a newer property that recently came on. So we've clicked on it, we've got these tabs here. Um, this is the agent info, so if we wanted to reach out and talk to the agent, that's who it is. Um, amenities, it talks about uh, garage, basement, etc. here. Addendums, um, property condition report, I always recommend that we take a look at these. Let's, um, let's take a look here. So we're going to go through and just see what's going on here. Um, it looks like the property held plumbing, but the reason I look at these is it's possible that the property may not work for the type of financing that I want to use, and so I use these to see is there if the if the property is not holding water pressure, then I may not be able to do a conventional loan, for example. And so I look at that. Here's the disclosure. Take a look at that. Um, lead based paint. Uh, they're saying that they recommend a roof inspection, so maybe something going on there. Uh, and a foundation. So, pretty simple, but sometimes you'll see on here a plumbing inspection, plumbing didn't hold pressure, what have you. Just know that they're not going to activate the, or allow you to activate the water uh, when you um, go to. Get your if your bid is accepted and you want to move forward to have an inspection and a appraisal. If the plumbing didn't hold pressure, then they're not going to allow that the utilities to be activated. So here it is. It says over here um, we're going to look up here. It talks about uh, this property is eligible bidders owner for owner occupants, nonprofits, government agencies only, and that is the exclusive bidding period. What will happen is. Um, it's going to stay in the exclusive bidding period until the 26th. Oops, that was listed until May 10th, um, and then here it shows that the next bid date that they're going to open bids is uh, would be the 7th, uh, if that's a business day. So they're going to close bids on the 6th at just about midnight, and then the next business day they'll open those up and see if any bids have been accepted. If no bids are accepted, then the property will go. Uh, to 24-hour bidding cycle, and it'll continue through the May 10th. If no bids are accepted, then on the 11th, it'll open up to investors and continue on a 24-hour bid cycle. This term right here will change to extended, and then up here will be all bidders, so anybody can bid on this property. So if you're an eligible bidder, um, oh, and then let me talk about this real quick. I get questions about this a lot as people think that when they see this, the property is not available. This writing is on every single property, and what it's saying here is that, let's just say it's a Friday and the bid is ending on Friday. Nobody's going to be in the office on Saturday to receive your bid and let you know that your bid was accepted. And so even though they're continuing to receive bids Saturday and Sunday, it's possible that a previous bid on Friday is, is going to be accepted. So I would say go ahead, if you see the property on HUD Home Store, submit the bid. They're just saying that it's possible that if it was a holiday or a weekend, or for some reason that the company was closed, that it's possible that the bid was already accepted. Um, so after I've read this information, I see here that the property is insured, and here it's going to say uninsured is a status, insured IN, which is this one. That means that the property should be able to be financed in an FHA uh, 
loan um, in its as-is condition. Uh, sometimes it'll say insured, i.e. with escrow. That just means that something's not quite right, but the property's in good enough condition that with some escrow monies um, that it can be financed using FHA. That is different from 203K. Uh, and I have done uh, other training videos on that. I'm not going to get too in depth in that on here. It does show here 203K, yes, that's a rehab. 203B with escrow repair is not a rehab. And I want to submit an offer. I've shown the property to the, the buyer. I've told them that it's a sealed bid process, meaning that I don't know how many offers there are submitted. Nobody does. They go into a private portal and could be a lot of bids, could be one bid. And at the end of the bidding cycle, whichever bid nets the seller the highest, that's the offer they're going to take. And the buyer says, okay, I want you to submit this amount. Now we can go into here. And we're going to select on selling broker. We're going to enter the NAID number. If you don't have it, talk to your broker. If you don't have one, you have to have a NAID number to submit a bid. And you have to renew that once a year. I've done plenty of training videos on that, so I'm not going to get into that. And then you have to um, sub put your real estate license here. Now, if you've never created an account, you're going to first have to create an account, uh, and then you'll be able to come in here. And I've done videos on how to create an account. And then the next page, it's going to ask you some questions. Um, I like to have the buyer's legal name, and uh, it takes me about four or five minutes to submit a bid. They're going to ask for the title company information that you're going to use, and you you type that in there's going to be a drop down that you can select them if the company has a NAID number so pretty easy process takes about five minutes it's one of the easiest um, offers to submit that I know of out there it takes the least amount of time it's one of the reasons that I just love uh, selling HUD homes so if you have any questions let me know on the bidding process but that's it for this month's outreach and I appreciate you guys tuning in and Jeremy and I'll catch you guys uh, next month bye bye